Morning, y'all. I just got done uploading one of my mods to Patreon.com. Mayfield Modding, Patreon.com, link in description. But today, we are going to be going and picking up a new truck today. A fourth gen. So, we are going to hook up the trailer that I actually had to borrow from a buddy because I did not want to have to drag it with a skid steer, like the GMC video. Just as usual, I get so indecisive on what truck I want to take. I guess I want to keep the miles off of this rig, so it looks like we're going to have to put the hitch on the GMC in. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. So just like every video, I get super indecisive on which truck I want to take, and I actually want to keep the miles on this truck, so it looks like we got to put the hitch on the old GMC here. All right, well, we got the hitch put on. That's easy. Uh, I should honestly just make this truck the tow pig, because I literally take this truck everywhere. Okay, now, as long as I'm not indecisive, let's get this hooked up to the trailer. Okay, now we're hooked up, and we are ready to leave. So actually, from what I know... Okay, yeah, we're going to jackknife. Yeah, we're definitely jackknifing this. Oh, boy. Looks like I'm gonna have to get a brand new bumper from Bumpers That Deliver since I just jackknifed my trailer. Speaking of new bumpers and bumpers that deliver, you can call, use code MWM24 and save two, $20 off $200 or more purchase. So if you're interested in that, that'll be in the description along with my Patreon. I would also like to take the time to shout out FCK Light Bars. If you need any lighting for them, get it from them. I'm gonna have a discount code here soon, so stay tuned for that. Check the description on these videos. Okay, yeah, I'm... I'm I'm done. We are gonna have to... Oh, jeez. I, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this thing on out of here. Okay, well, I'm gonna fast forward until when I do. Okay, I now got the trailer out of the shop. That seemed hard enough? Well, yeah, it was. So now we are on our journey all the way across this map to go pick up a new 4th gen. This thing is ugly. I mean, this, this thing is atrocious right now. It's on a like 6 or 8 inch lift and it has like tiny tires on it they're mud grabs at least but they're tiny tires and um it's it's pretty atrocious you'll see when we get there but i think we take our turn up here instead of continuing to go it's at some old abandoned looking barn too so it's pretty sketchy but i mean the guy had some like four and a half oh geez the guy had like four and a half ratings on facebook marketplace so i mean i guess i'll trust him so, uh, I will let you guys know when I get there, if I don't flip by the time I'm there. Okay, so we're just pulling up on this place, and yes, it, uh, is very, 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 very sketchy. So this will be the truck here. A 2018 Ram 3500. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at how atrocious this thing is. Oh boy. The steps are definitely aftermarket, and they're not mounted right, because they go past the fender. Uh, what else is there to this atrocious thing? Uh, it looks like it has a 5th gen rear bumper on it. I don't know why. Um, and it's deleted. It has a fat, fat elbow tip. I don't know who put that on there, but that's just, like, not even, doesn't even look at it good at this point. Um, this grill is off of a different truck, too, I think, because I don't think this is a super high trim. I don't know. I don't do, I don't do Dodge. This is definitely a work truck. It's on, like, an eight inch I think it's an eight inch lift and it has these tiny mini tires on it um other than that let's take a look on the inside and see what's going on in here stock uh just as I expected it um mega cab very nice so yeah we are gonna slam not slam it we're gonna level this truck or reverse level it and make it a drag truck because um who else doesn't want to be Bryce Johnson. So if Bryce Johnson sees this, um, I will make Bryce Johnson's truck and I will release it publicly. If if Bryce Johnson sees this video, if y'all get him to see this video, I will release this truck. Anyways, let's get this thing loaded up because I already PayPal the guy like a lot of money, so it's ours. But let's get these ramps folded down. If we can. We have power ramps. Uh, yeah, start it up. Okay, it starts up extremely quick. That's concerning. Um, it is very wide for stock truck. Doesn't have spacers on it either. So let's get this thing onto the trailer. And take her on home. Okay, so we got this atrocious thing home. Um, first things first. We are going to order some wheels. We are going to take off the steps. We are getting new mirrors. We are taking the cab lights off. Uh, new headlights. New girl. Uh, new bumper for bumpers at the liver. New rear bumper for bumpers that deliver. Uh, I think I'm going to either go custom or 5th gen tail lights. Uh, what else are we going to do? Paint this atrocious thing, because this is an old 
Like, there's no clear code in this thing at all. Uh, typical dodge, anyways. Okay, what else is wrong with this thing? That is, okay, yeah, this is absurd. So we're getting a hood stack for this. Um, drag slicks. Drag slicks. Drag slicks and drag slicks. Why am I doing that? I, actually, I don't even know. Um, let's see how this thing, all the headlights and everything work, I believe. Yes. Okay, so everything works in the truck, except it's just atrocious. Anyways, I'm going to stop saying it's atrocious, and we are going to start modifying this thing so it isn't atrocious. But I'm going to go ahead and get some new bumpers and bumpers that deliver. Get some FCK riding, lighting rock lights for this truck. Oh, well. Actually, I don't know if I'll put rock lights on this truck. It's supposed to be a race truck. Well, we'll find out. Anyways, I'm going to go get a ton of parts for this thing. And checkmate. Checkmate. An empty bank account later, and we have our parts. Um, when are they going to get here? I paid for premium shipping because I'm extremely impatient. Um... Good thing, though, bumper set deliver delivers in, like, three days. Like, I'm not even kidding. Actually, speaking of them, I literally just ordered a rear bumper for my dad's truck. His is rusted out, so we're going to get that swapped on. And I'll make a post about that once I get that on. Anyways, um, yeah, debadge this thing. I think we're, I don't think we're going to put the, we might leave the Cummins badge, but we're definitely taking that huge thing off. Um, and I think we want to, yeah, so we'll level this thing out, or reverse level it, whatever we go with, and I want to do a chrome, uh, chrome, like, polish everything, track bars, uh, springs, shocks, everything, so, I think on paint-wise, I either want to go a shiny red, like the Bryce Johnsons, or an orange, I think an orange would look good, like a satin matte orange, just like this would look really nice. Um, so yeah, well, we are going to, uh, do that, and, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward to the good part, and uh, I wish I could do the same, and just fast forward to when the truck is done, but you guys get that lovely ability with something called editing, so, this is gonna be the last time you see the truck stock. Well, with the great power of editing, she's done. Yeah. So, we didn't get the exact color of Bryce Johnson's truck, but it's a very nice sparkle color, so yeah. Uh, weld wheels, drag slicks, Alpharex USA headlights, custom billet grill, LED bar, painted bumper from bumpers that deliver, hood stack, of course, um, mirrors, um, and we wrapped this a, like, chrome, so that way bugs don't get on it and make it hard to get off, and track bars, flight flab, and we did everything chrome, so everything in here is going to be chrome, you can kind of see in there. Um, taillights, 5th gen, okay, what the heck just happened, my camera hit that, um, 5th gen, bumper, again, bumper set to liver, 5th gen, taillights, um, up there, bed cover, and a new third brake light, LED custom, uh, not headlights, uh, why did I forget what they're called, door handles, and if we go on the inside, fully paint matched, everything up in here. I mean, like, the amount of time it took to do all this is crazy. So yeah, I'm thinking of flipping the mirrors up so we can gain another 500 horsepower, or 5 horsepower each mirror, as they say. But, under the, under the hood. Big things. Literally new, out of the motor, or out of, crate motor. Um, triple turbos. Triple spinny things. Yeah. Um, we got a, oh yeah, hood. It has a vent in it, so it's actually useful, and it actually works. Um, yeah, uh, big, there's three spinny things under the hood. Um, big diesel injectors, or sprayer things. Yes, I know what they're called, injectors. I'm just goofing around. Um, intake manifold, intake, charge pipes, literally everything you could put in here is done to it. Um, uh, but I do not want to open the hood right now because it's going to be a pain in the butt to get it open. Okay, anyways, let's start her up and see what she sounds like. She still starts up just as quick as it did before, I don't know why. This thing does not ride very well on drag slicks, especially, it's not even on spacers, I'm not even kidding, it's not even on spacers. Let's turn the lights on though, offer XUSA headlights looking minty, as always. If I can open the door, the button's not working. Let's take her out for a rip. I mean, this thing is quick. I am barely even touching the gas right now, and we're flying. Alrighty. You know, I wonder what would happen if we took this thing mudding. That would be kind of fun. 
But, uh, yeah. Let's take it for a rip and see what happens on the road. Yeah, this thing rides like an absolute rock, and you can feel the vibration of these drag slicks. I think I need to be aired up more. But, uh, we're going. We're rolling coal. So, we are running a, uh, hot tune. Of course, we are. You guys already know. Yeah, that that turbo and exhaust is screaming, and we are flying, and we are about to die. All right, well, thank goodness we didn't flip there. Anyways, let's fill this thing up with diesel. We do need to get a new fuel tank. I want to get a fuel tank for in the bed, just because I feel like it would be a lot lighter um, and a lot better. So anyways, I need to go in and prepay because these pumps suck and they don't work. Look how wide this thing is. It's not even on spacers. I mean, literally the whole tire sticks out. So if I do a burnout, this whole bed is toast and it is going to be covered in tire. So, oh yeah, we did go with FCK lighting rock lights, of course we did. So yeah, we kept the Cummins logo. Other than that... I honestly kind of want to find a way to make this thing less wide because it looks kind of weird wide like this. It looks like a SEMA truck but with flat tires and no tread. So I do have plans to try and fix that. I honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it's the way that they mount. I don't know. But we are going to go, uh, yeah, I'm wasting too much time here. People in here probably think I'm smoking crack. Please don't actually do that, though. Okay, yeah, we made it back safely, surprisingly. I do want to get skinnier wheels for this thing, actually, because this thing is, it actually looks really weird. Like, I would consider putting this thing back on stocks just because it looks really weird. I don't know why these things are so wide, but we're definitely going to fix that, and we're going to do some things to this truck. Uh, I want to do a little better tuning. Because I feel like the air-fuel ratio, the mixture is too rich in fuel. So I do want to get some better tuning on this truck. That is about the only thing that I want to fix on this truck. Except the wheels that are just atrocious. But other than that, I really like the way it turned out. There is some body gaps in here. Like the headlights need to be repositioned. But again, ha like none of this stuff even works. The LED bar doesn't turn on or anything. It's all for show. Um... It's pointless to pretty much wire it. Um, the mirror lights uh, were plug and play, so we just went and did that. Um, the rock lights, that's just for show, again. Um, these were just for show, but, I mean, the LED bar, LED bar is not even a point of it. So, yeah, some of the stuff isn't actually worth, like, doing. So, yeah, there's some gaps and everything. You know, it's, it's a race truck. It's not going to be perfect. But other than that, I think it's pretty perfect. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You like the build? Do you not like it? Do you think we need to change something besides the wheels? I know we need to change those. What do you guys think we should do with this truck? Sell it? Keep it? Mod it? Lift it? What should we do? Make it a not drag truck? Let me know down in the comments. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think again in the comments. Okay, I've said that too many times. Anyways, yep, end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye. Love you.